The elimination of the class bubbles is going to be uh, very good news to a lot of people, uh, namely my son, who's going into grade four. He'll be very happy. He can walk across the hall and walk across the, the yard and, and play with his friends who are in the other class. But I'm wondering about why this, is, is this, this decision was made, because now we're saying, obviously, kids in elementary school are not vaccinated. And we're saying that the Delta variant is more transmissible than the variants we saw back in June. So why was the decision made uh, to eliminate the class bubbles, uh, both on a, for like a school decision and on the epi epidemiological uh, reason for it? Well, those decisions uh, are made by the government following the recommendations of a public health authority. So I will let, let Mr. Uh, Dr. Jalba explain. Yes, uh, an interesting question. We have to to walk a narrow path between allowing um, the students to come back to a normal way of life and fighting this pandemics. Um, so this is the position that we have right now um, about uh, not um, enforcing the class bubbles, but. We'll see what happens. We follow the situation very cl closely. And uh, if need be, we will uh, come with other measures. Uh, Follow-up question. It's going to be the same question. With respect, you didn't answer it. Uh, we're, we're increasing, essentially, the risk uh, to the kids to transmit the, the, the virus. Can you explain why this decision is being made? Uh, essentially, to allow a more normal life in school which is very important because all the, of the impacts uh, that uh, uh, the measures taken during the last year um, had on our kids. And um, maybe both of you could weigh in on this one. I'm just, uh, I wanted to ask about the, um, how the, the mask policy and how um, the decision was made uh, to mandate masks in the places that you decided to mandate them. I will let uh, Dr. Jalba answer this one. Well, it, it's uh, partly based um, on what we we have acquired as uh, knowledge about uh, mask wearing in the in the the, the, the last waves of COVID. Um, it's 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 important to know that we are all as citizens more competent about fighting. A virus now, you know. Last year we were uh, wondering how we would uh, manage uh, the, the return to school. Uh, this year we have the experience of one year with the COVID, so um, we know what what is feasible. We know uh, what creates more problems, and uh, the fact, especially in the in, in the primary school to have the, 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 the to, to wear the mask in class was, let's say, the, 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 the most difficult part of uh, mask wearing in school. So we, we took what is, what seems to me at least a very reasonable position, but I say it again, we will follow the situation very closely and if need be, we will take other decisions. What, what about parents who say, who are probably, there's probably going to be people who want to send their kids to, who tell their kids to wear masks in class anyway. What do you say to them? Well, they can do so. Uh, wearing masks in class won't be mandatory. But, but if parents or, or students, teenagers, feel more comfortable with the mask, they, they will be allowed to, to put their mask on.